as you probably know, we started out by providing capabilities specific around core browsing. So that's the technological foundation, also where we hold a number of patents to the software. And we've developed various uh, core browsing technologies. There's actually not one size fits all. There's very different use cases that require different technology. We have then uh, realized that there is a broader need to facilitate all communication through a digital channel. So we have subsequently built out the audio chat, the video chat capability, the ability to share documents, visualize documents, uh, but also the capability to then have um, a secure conversation and, uh, and originally a chat, but now a secure conversation, which is akin to uh, something like a WhatsApp, just run by the bank as a service for their clients. So that kind of forms the, the capabilities that are in the Unblue suite as a, as a core product suite that you would acquire if you acquire the software. What's really important for us is uh, that a client has a modular way of using the software simply because no one's going for the full use case utilizing all capabilities right as of day one. Everyone's learning in the implementation, everyone's mapping out their customer journeys and usually we find customers adding a lot of customers to customer journeys as soon as they have understood the value of the first one they put in place. Um, and it's also obviously very important that you have a quick hit, you've got an, an early win in implementing the software and then you can go from there. So while we deliver with the software all of the capabilities, you would activate them module by module. The important thing is you wouldn't actually have to install additional components. You'll have all of the components already in place. It's just a sheer licensing and flicker switch and activate the capability if you want to go from a a baseline capability into um, a further capability that you would probably add to your journey. There's obviously two client perspectives that we're always taking, which is the bank. And usually when we talk about wealth management within the bank, it's the relationship managers that we're thinking of. And then obviously there's the end customer, so the, the wealthy individual that is being served. And a key thing that we are trying to always make sure is that there is no um, objection to adoption of what we do. So usually for the end client, there is no installation whatsoever. The way that we're instrumenting an online or a digital channel is that you don't have to download or anything. It's always delivered with the underlying application, which most of the time is your mobile banking application or your e-banking environment. And equally, we're trying to be as consumer-centric from a usability point of view, also for the relationship manager. Why? Because we know that a relationship manager, they're using WhatsApp today, they're using browsers today, they're using their mobile telephones today. So we want to be as close to that um, end user or consumer experience as possible, removing all objections for adoption also for the relationship managers.